Hi, my name is Kim Crosby and I am a Paralympic bronze medalist. I am here today with Challenge Athletes Foundation to explain the visual impairment categories. For visual impairment athletes, it is important to know that there is a wide spectrum of athletes with visual impairments. It can go from being visually impaired, seeing pretty well on their own, to totally blind and needing a dog or a white cane. It is very important to get to know each athlete and learn and grow with them to see what they need for their individual needs. For example, an athlete could see well enough, but you may need to be close enough to teach an athlete how to demonstrate proper form. Some athletes may be able to see well enough to get all the general information, but others may need one-on-one -on -one guidance. It is important for a coach to ask the athlete if they are comfortable enough to use touch to feel so they can learn proper form. Coaches can get creative in what they do to help their visually impaired athletes. For example, they can stand at one end of a field and clap or whistle loudly so the athlete can hear it and the athlete can run towards the sound and comfortably know that they are safely running. Another thing to consider for visually impaired athletes is the contrast between the white lines and the track. Some tracks may be harder for athletes to see, for example, a blue track with white lines or a gray or yellow track with white lines. Some athletes with decreased vision may need to use a guide runner. A guide runner is there to simply guide the athlete to the finish line. Guide runners are tethered to the athlete by shoestring or other type of equipment. When they're tethered to each other, it is like they are running a three-legged race. They are so in sync and as they are going around the track, it is important for the guide runner to be faster than the athlete so that the guide runner can not only keep up but also talk to the athlete all the way around. The athletes who are running with guide runners must wear an eye mask during competition. This is to help keep the playing field even across the board for the athletes. As a guide runner, it is important that they let the athlete cross the finish line before the guide runner does to ensure a fair race for everyone. For the coaches, it is important to use very descriptive directional terms. For example, it is probably not a good idea to point somewhere. Instead, use terms like towards the 200 meter start line or towards the finish line, halfway through, things like that are great terms to use. Be very descriptive and ask the athlete what their individual needs are.